Video games, a concept and entertainment that struck the world back in the 1970s. But one question that has always been asked is, what makes us play video games? And what do we even get out of it? It's not an easy question that can be answered, but then again, it is. Elihu Katz, a media theorist, construed a theory in 1959 called Uses and Gratifications. And what better way to show this theory through the lens of a gamer? At the time that Katz designed this theory, video games didn't even exist. And while it focused on television, radio, and newspapers, the theory still applies today for the variety of media that exist now. Myself, a gamer who asked this question, will be exploring this while playing the critically acclaimed video game, Dark Souls 3. With a variety of different games out there, people have the choice to play whatever that they please, as it can fulfill some sort of entertainment, but why am I playing Dark Souls? Well, according to Katz, we get something out of it. Dark Souls presents itself as a difficult game to those that have the patience to venture through the journey of completing it. This can be described as a straight line effect of media. What this means is that a specific effect on someone's behavior can already be predicted due to the media content alone, which gives Dark Souls the straight line effect of media with frustration. Dark Souls has been a series well known by many gamers out there as one of the hardest gaming series to have ever been created in this generation. From software, the developers of Dark Souls grew inspiration from difficult video games during the mid-1980s. The reason behind this is due to limitations of hardware, so developers weren't really able to design multiple difficulties, and they just kinda stuck with one, which grew the reputation of games being pretty hard. Since people are different, media affects people differently. And what I mean by that is that if you take Dark Souls and compare it to an incredibly hard task, and if you're able to complete this almost seemingly impossible task, the gratification of achievement is made. The split between the different kinds of audiences, however, will determine whether or not they feel confident enough to complete this task. See, the thing is, we can get a different sort of typology within uses and gratifications. Alan Rubin created these comprehensive typologies in 1981 to allow an explanation of why people watch television, and while there are a total of eight, there are only five that are actually relevant within video games. Whether it be passing time, or having some sort of escape from reality, or having a social interaction, or some kind of enjoyment. Wait, what? Relaxation. We play games for different reasons. Within the typology of uses and gratifications, one that has stuck out is social interaction. How can people socialize playing video games? Well, there's a thing called parasocial relationships. What this means is that you can create a relationship with someone that you have never met before, but you feel like you can be attached to that person. Well, this can also apply to Dark Souls, and this is how. Within the Dark Souls community, you are able to leave messages for people, whether it is helping the person out or tricking them. You can leave a message for anyone. They can read it and also rate it. Although this doesn't create a parasocial relationship, this does create parasocial communications. Going back to my question, why am I playing Dark Souls? It's an easy answer. I want to have the feeling of achieving a difficult task. This isn't the same for others. 
The reason why I decided to select video games as my prime example of user system gratifications is due to the amount of people that play it around the world. Video games serve a purpose for both casual and hardcore audiences out there. So you have your Dark Souls, but you also have your Pokemon Go. As long as the video game industry knows how to use these effects effectively, you'll always be able to find a game you like. You know, I can go on forever talking about this theory and applying it to other video games, but you know, that would take a really long time, and I wouldn't want to do that to you guys. This is Jose Cruz, and thanks for watching.